Tapos sa internet, yung number one question ng mga bumibili ng computer parts is not anong i-upgrade, anong specs, pero yung number one na tanong is magkano ba yung mga to? And we've been doing a video a month for years, yung price watch natin, tracking average prices of GPUs and CPUs to answer that question. Alam na ninyo yan, what you don't know is na mano-mano yan. Every month, manually, I go to each website to look at each item. But this month, baka kaya na natin i-upgrade yung workflow natin. I'm going to use AI to gather up all of that data. Less work for me, more data for you, mas accurate yung mga average prices natin. So tingnan natin kung magaling ba talaga yung AI or is manual still the way to go. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sudden depress ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com so I use Google Gemini as my AI agent since I have access to the paid version since we use Google Workspace for the shop. Gemini is not good for this kind of work. Some of the basic problems I encountered, one, it couldn't accurately determine whether a component was available or not. Karamihan sa sites, naglilist pa rin sila kahit out of stock. But it's easy to filter to just show on-stock items. Easy for a human, not so easy apparently for AI. Two, Gemini couldn't read PC Hub at all. Granted, itong site na to isn't in straight up HTML, but again, a human can use it just fine. And again, bagsak si AI dito. And three, it didn't even know that the 5060 had been released. So yes, may mga issues yung Gemini. Puro AI hype na lang lahat ngayon, and I thought this kind of project, gathering data from the internet, making sense of it, and then presenting it in a simple form, would be ideal for AI. I might try other AI agents in the future, but for now, let's go through the list which I generated, like before, manually. Thanks so much AI for nothing, but at least alam natin na accurate to, at least alam ko because ako talaga nag-compile. There are two interesting things that I want to highlight for this month. Yung una, we can see here that the all of the 50 series cards have gone down in price. So 5060 from 20,400 naging 19,700 or so. So you know that's a 700 peso drop. Not too bad considering the overall price. 5070 bumagsak or di naman bumagsak but just dropped slightly. 5070 Ti from 56 naging 54. So low 56, high 54, but still you know that's a thousand plus peso difference. Ang laki nung drop ng 5080 from 87,000, it's now around 76,000. Although you notice it's interesting sa 5080 data, nagpiping pong siya. When we first started tracking it nung April, mga 80,000 siya, then naging 75k, went up again in June to 87, and then now for July, 76k. 5090 is lower at 170,000. But just like last month, this is also because yung isa sa mga apat na stores na tinatrack natin has a very expensive 5080. So if it, if that particular store stock lower priced 5090s, sorry, 5090, then the price would be lower. It's, this price is a little inflated, which we'll see later when we go into the per shop deep dive. 9060 XT that we're tracking for the first time, so it comes in at around 21,500 or so. Interestingly, more expensive than the 5060, which roughly, you know, dun siya maglalaro, or yan yung katapat niya na card for if AMD versus Nvidia. So it is significantly more expensive. So interesting to see that initial pricing from AMD. 
And then the next AMD card is almost double the price. Basically double the price. 9070 at 42,000. Which is already a price drop. So we're seeing better inventory from the four largest stores that we track. So I think, you know, the average price has smoothed out to around 42k. And the 9070 XT continues its two month or it's the second month that the price has dropped from 51k, dropped to 48k, and then now dropped to 47k. The Intel GPU, the B580 went up just slightly, around 500 pesos. Still pretty good compared to its initial price of around 19,500. No change for the 9800X3D, slight price increase, a bit of a bump for the 7800X3D, very small price decrease for the 7600X, slight price increase for the 5600X, and a very small decrease for the 5600G. No price change for Intel's flagship Core Ultra 9 285K, slight price decrease for the 4900K, and also for the 14700K, slight very slight price increase for the sort of upper performance but not yet top tier Core Ultra 7 265KF. So the first thing I really wanted to highlight was the drop in all of the 50 series cards that we track across the board. 5060, 5070, 5070 Ti, 5080, 5090, lahat yun bumagsak. I want to shift to this sheet. So we also track yung average price ng Philippines versus yung mahanap mo sa Amazon because yes, it is very hard to beat the Amazon prices. Although nung May, napansin ko na bumalik tad yun. So it was just in May where a lot of the samplings na tinitingnan natin mas mahal sa atin. But since June and then carrying on into July, nag-correct yun back to yung default na alam natin, which is mas mahal sa atin. <laughs> Except for the 4060s. So it's kind of interesting that the older cards, yun pa yung mas mura dito sa atin. Mas mahal sa states where you would think na flush out na, they would put it on discount or something. But for the second straight month, we have the 4060 more expensive with Amazon. But everything else, mas mura sa Amazon. So here you could get on the average a 5060 for around 19,700. Sa states, laki ng price difference. It's around 16,000, around 17,000. 5070, 5,000 peso difference in favor of Amazon. 5090, 7,000 peso difference in favor of Amazon. 9070, 5,000 peso difference or so in favor of Amazon. And the 9800X3D, 5,000 peso difference or so. Usual state of things is back in play and that is usually mas mura sa states. And we're looking at like, you know, 14%, almost 15% difference for the 9800X3D. Double digit differences for the 5060, 5070, and 9070. So, you know, there are trade-offs, you know, Yes, the price is good to Amazon, but kung kailangan ng replacement or no warranty claim, it does make things a bit more challenging. I'm not saying buy there and buy here. I'm just saying, yun nga, yun yun yung kagandahan ng price watch. You have the data to decide. Ikaw magsabi, san ka bibili, anong model, and at what price. These are just guidelines for you. And so, at, and, may, and at least may trending data. Makita mo over time kung now is a good time to buy based on the trend. I mean, to jump back to the 5080, yes, I mean, at least now it's reverted back to around its 75k price compared to yung average price niya last month, 87, and when we first started tracking it in April, 80k. And lastly, just going to the per shop deep dive, yun nga, so these are the four stores, we don't name them, but you can probably guess them, I mean, it's easy, just compare the data, what you can find online, pretty easy to guess the stores that we track. This is what I'm talking about, yung 5090. So, kay Wash, it's around 140k. And actually, this is also good to note. They have the exact same cheapest model, so 5090 Ventus. But with Joker, it's 154,000. Kay Wash, 140k. Um, and then this one, si Wedge yung panira sa average price ng 5090 because their cheapest is an Astral, which is, you know, fine, it's ROG. ROG is quality. But definitely, ROG is not cheap. So it's around 217k or so compared to the 154k, 154k, and the 140k. Not much really going on, although Wedge has seen good price drops for most of the 50 series cards, except for the 5070, slight increase. Sorry, it's a June. 39185. That's like 300 peso. Sorry, you can't. It's off camera. But it's like a 300 peso difference compared to last month. So very. Slight price increase lang. Everything else dropped. 
No difference for joke for Roy for Joker just one and then si Wash then maganda yung drop sa 50 series cards niya. Wash in general has a lot of good GPU prices this month so drop under 4060 4070 super and the 1650. Then we have the 9060 XT making its debut with three of our retailers. One of the retailers doesn't have it. Although ito si Roy, wala talagang on stock na AMD card. Whether 9070, 9070 XT, 9060 XT, wala talaga. And this is what we saw in the summary where the 9070 XT prices have gotten better. Both from Joker and from Wash. Although, if you take a look here, we summarize. We also tell you how many sample, yung sample size. Like out of the four retailers, if not all of the four have prices, we tell you how many had because that can affect also how reliable the data is. So for the 9070, we only had two retailers and then the 9060 XT, 9070 XT, only three retailers as well. For CPUs, not much going on. CPUs generally less volatile than GPUs. We have seen a price increase for from Wash for the Core Ultra 7, but very slight. Like last month it was 2599, this month it's 2850. So really not much price change except maybe maybe for Wedge, you 5600X na naging close to 9000 compared to 6400 before. Everything else price drops. So to summarize, sort of middle of the year, the new cards have come out and there's enough time na since from their release na they've affected prices in a good way. Their prices have dropped. I mentioned in one of our socials, kung TikTok ba yun or YouTube, on the 5060 already dropping in price, there's maraming nag-comment na because nobody's buying it. Um, I haven't actually looked at the sales data if that's true, but in any case, I mean, whatever the reason, you know, price drops are always welcome. You can take a look at the sheet 24-7. It's available online. The link is in the comments if you're watching on YouTube, also in the video description. Basically, the takeaway for this month is that prices have gone down. Generally, if you want to pull the trigger on a new PC, I think now would be a decent time to buy. Like, yes, there might be cheaper prices maybe around Christmas this time, this year. But overall, these are pretty decent prices. And if you're in the market, don't want to wait, now would be a good time. Of course, personal opinion, better if you buy from Hardware Sugar. But wherever you buy your components from, have fun. And once you buy don't think about the price. Just enjoy the component. Thanks for watching.